going to be uh, in 50-50. So my right hand is underhook, his right hand is underhook. His right leg's in front, my other right leg's in front. You start up here. If he puts his butt back now, not a problem. Do this. Okay? When I do that, his stomach actually comes close to me. And I bring him in and I use my head. See? Now I take a step and he falls. guys so we're gonna be uh, in 50 50 so my right hand is underhook his right hand's underhook his right leg's in front my other right leg's in front nice and relaxed okay I want to pummel my hand inside this arm if he lets me okay so I take my fingers I go inside and I have a good opportunity now to uh, get a takedown on him so in general when you have double underneath you have a bit of the advantage okay but there are some throws he can do and different things he can do and you might like that position to be really good at it, okay? But in general, it's a good idea to get the double underhooks, okay? So again, I already have one. If I pummel this one in, I got this one. Now I want to grab each shoulder, guys, here. And I want to flare my elbows up, okay? Once I flare my elbows up, I'm going to keep my right leg forward and deep, okay? Because I don't want his arms. I do remember the defense the other day. The guy put his arms, he locked his hands together, and he, he broke my grip and passed my arm over to the... A take down there. So again, 50-50. We're gonna pummel our hand in. If he lets me, I'm not gonna go for the body lock right away. If I go for the body lock, he usually puts his butt back and you miss it. See? You can't lock your hand. So you start up here. If he puts his butt back now, not a problem. Okay, I got my grip. Double shoulder, elbows high. My right leg goes deep, opposite my head. See? Now if he tries to put his hands between my body and his, he can't. If you separate, he's gonna start to put his hips back. So you wanna connect. Okay? And I'll sometimes be here for a little bit. Just controlling with my, my hips. Now I want to go from high to low. So I want to go from here down to here. Okay, so I'm going to drop my head to his pec. My hands are going to drop. The side of my leg is palm down. The side of the other palm is up, gable grip. Now you notice I don't have a lock like this, like a triangle. I have a lock like a rectangle here, like a square. Okay, so it's tight here, not in the center. Okay, so again, 50-50. I'm going to pummel my hand inside. Double underhook, flare the elbows, put my leg forward, and then from there I'm gonna drop my head to his pec as I go here. Very commonly we grab him, we keep our head above the shoulder, and we have no pressure with our head, see? So I wanna drop it here sideways. Get that grip I talked about here. I use this part of my hand into his floating rib, gable grip, now he's in trouble, okay? So I use my head like a battering ram here, guys, I keep it strong, and now I keep my hips separate, like this, okay? Now I'm gonna pull him my, his hips to my hips. When I do that and my head doesn't move, he ends up going on tiptoes, you see, and leaning back, his balance is broken. If I move my head back when I pull, nothing happens to him, all right? If I just push with my head and don't pull my arms, nothing happens. It's like I lock my, my core and I bring him in and I use my head, see? Now I take a step and he falls. Let me get down to the half guard, there's a take. Okay, so again, 50-50. If the guy knows no jiu-jitsu, just some regular guy, I might just be able to go like that. Hey, see you, buddy. Boom. Right? But if he has him in wrestling, he's going to put 50-50. That's why when I put this hand in, he puts his left hand in, pummel, and then we, none of us, neither of us get it. You see? That's why we do the pummel. But if he doesn't pummel or he doesn't know, come in. Okay? I lift my elbows. Shoulder grip. Right foot forward. Use the hips. If he tries to back away, I stay on him. Okay? Now I'm going to be find my moment. I'm going to drop my chest down. I'm going to lunge in. When I lunge in, it gives me a massive, uh, you know, uh, increase in my reach with my hands. I'm like that. Look at. I want to lunge in. Head on the pack. See, and deep. Now I bring him in. If I put my hips connected, he doesn't bend. No matter how strong I am, I got to separate separate my hips and then drive and then lock. And you'll feel once they're broken, they're balanced. It's easy to put them down. Sometimes we get this body lock and we're like trying to trip people and they're, and they're not falling and we're throwing ourselves, getting tired. You just boom, if he does, if he, his balance gets broken, he's down. 50-50. Like I said, he doesn't know that much. You guys can just go double underhooks right away, right? My leg goes forward, my head drops to his pec, I go to the lower body, and then I lock my hands. Now I use my hands, see, I kind of use my eyebrow. Look, look, see? And then I take a step forward. So once their balance is broken, one step will make them fall. Two or three times in a row.
questions? Yep. Sure. Why do you go, like, what? Can you skip that part and go exactly there? Or so that's a good question, okay? What happens is if he goes, pummels in and goes for body lock, body lock right away, everybody puts their butt back right away. If he goes for the, if I go for the shoulder lock, so you could, but sometimes it's too much. You're trying to get too much. So it gets us kind of to a, like a closer point in here. Now what happens, this is a good question here, is why couldn't he just put his butt back now when I change? He has good reflexes. Go up, right? So what I do here is I actually throw his shoulders to the sky like a jet taking off. Okay? When I do that, watch my hands, I do this. Okay? When I do that, his stomach actually comes close to me. I go here, put your hips in, hips butt, butt back a bit. So when he puts his butt back, I just throw his shoulders away. And his hips come close. So this is that's a good question. Because everybody's ready to do this. But when you do this to them, now that split second, you're able to change. Okay? And that's what I end up having to do a lot. Especially if he already puts his butt back a bit now, I throw him away. What I can do. Okay, makes sense. Okay, what you what you don't want to have happen, guys. Here is you don't want as you're going. First of all, not to lock your hands. Let's lock your hands, okay? Because it's hard enough to even hold a strong guy who's good wrestling with your hands locked. And don't let your head go under the armpit. See, first of all, maybe some guillotines, but second, I just don't have pressure. It's just my shoulder now. My head has to be in front. You see, and we need a bit of separation. Sometimes we end up getting our body lock too high and then our head's on the same level, and then the spine doesn't bend. Sometimes our he head's too low, and our heads are too are low too, and it doesn't happen. It's the separation of difference in height that makes Adam feel uncomfortable, you see? It's like this, not like that. Don't meet them together. See, sometimes we end up meeting them together. We have to have them separate, see, separate. pulling actually up in and up okay. and then you're using your head in and down so they kind of go okay but not together the lines don't touch separate it feels like this is like you know here this is blocked and then this is hitting it's like if you were running and you and you smash into something here right <laughs> your body is broken we've all done that right no. running down the street street sign no okay one two <laughs>